An Ontario Employees Union, that's Canada, not California, will debate a motion this week to give black employees two extra days off to deal with the impact of racism in their workplaces, communities, and recent global events. So not just stuff that happens at work, which is all, probably nothing. Their communities and recent global events. Now, before we get into the rest of them, that would have to imply that other races of people do not suffer from racism in their community, and there are no global events that are racist towards them. So Asians not beaten up in New York. Nobody calls them racist things there. That's a global event, the whole in stop San Asian hate this, thing. They were, they were definitely doing that in San Francisco as well, the Bay Area. Um, if we're going to go down this road, you could say Central and South American people. Um, stopping them at the border, very racist, obviously. So you could go so you could go do so many things, but we're only focusing on one race here, which is very interesting. The Black Caucus of the Association of Management. Why are there race-based caucuses? I'll never know. Professional Crown employees, blah blah. blah indicate the motion follows an apology by the Ontario government deputy ministers earlier this year for the continued prevalence of anti-black racism in the workplace. Canada is so weak. There's just constantly government apologies to large groups of people. It represents 14,000 professionals, technical support workers, analysts, consultants, blah, blah, blah. Conference is coming up soon. A source who prefers anonymity said workers have already have three days of compassionate leave. The source went on to say that the Black Caucus wants two additional days, pointing to a third-party review of OPS that found systemic racism and discrimination against employees who are indigenous black. So if they, act if they found systemic discrimination and racism, then why didn't they sue them? Maybe they did, but why, like, wh you need more days off instead of just, you know, getting, you know, um, money in return or what have you, whatever the outcome may be. A June 3rd memo to all staff apologizes to the harm caused by caused to black employees by the prevalence and severity of anti-black racism in the workplace. So just in general, it also apologizes to indigenous employees for the pervasiveness of anti-indigenous racism to all other employees who face discrimination and harassment because of sexuality. So it sounds to me like they apologize to everyone, but the black caucus spoke up and they're like, hey, because you're admitting this to everyone, we would like black employees to have extra leave. Um, there's no mention in the Black Caucus resolution extending. Of course, they're not going to do it for other people. They don't represent them. So, Eric, what's the weirdest thing apart about this? Well, the fact first, that there's a race caucus, the fact that they want days off just for their race, or the fact that they don't care about the Black Caucus doesn't care about other races other than their own. No, I think the weirdest thing is is the vagueness. Uh, if you go all the way back up to the top where it says like, oh yeah, uh, something in your workplace, something locally, or a global event. Okay, so a black guy gets pulled over in California and now a guy in Canada is, is going to get two days off? That's correct. Global like, events. It doesn't make Recently, any though. 